Hey Battle fans, thanks for tuning in. We're continuing the Battlefield Memories series, taking a walk down memory lane. The things I distinctly remember about Battlefield and things that will always remind me of Battlefield 3. The last two times we covered maps, but this time we're covering something a little bit different in the form of the F2000 Assault Rifle. I've got fond memories of this rifle. Uh, it was one of the rifles that I actually used so, so much when I first started playing Battlefield 3, like many others did as well. For those of you who remember when the game was first released, the F2000 was an absolute beast. It was almost like how the M16A3 is now. Everyone used it. It had an insane fire rate, it was reasonably accurate. Well, more to the point, it fired so fast that the recoil didn't even matter because your enemy was dead before the recoil even kicked in. Now I'm going to give you some stats about the F2000. It has a fire rate of 850 rounds per minute. And to put that into perspective, the M16A3 has a rate of fire of 800 rounds per minute, so slightly less. And the AEK has a slightly greater uh, rate of fire at 900. So at this point in time, that puts the F2000 right between the M16A3 and the AK in terms of rate of fire. The FAMAS, of course, is on steroids way up there with a rate of fire of 1000. Now the rate of fire hasn't changed for any of these weapons over time, but what has changed is the weapon has been modified and nerfed and made less accurate than it was before uh, via the patches. Now what that means is that for the sake of 50 rounds per minute increase over the M16A3, it just isn't worth the inaccuracy penalty that you get. The M16A3 may have a 50 rounds per minute slightly less fire rate, but it's got a much, much better accuracy rating. The F2000 used to be okay, but the accuracy has been nerfed quite a considerable amount over the months to kind of accommodate really for the fast fire rate. The AEK now is probably even a better choice than the F2000. If I had to pick between those two particular guns, I probably would choose the AEK. It has a slightly faster fire rate, but the recoil also just doesn't seem to be as bad, I find, anymore as the F2000. So we know that it doesn't have the best accuracy, nor does it have the fastest fire rate, and to be fair, it's hardly massively ahead of the M16 3 on fire rate anyway, so we have to ask ourselves, what does it actually have going for it? Well, I think one of the things it's got going for it is the better hip fire than all the other assault rifles. This is more of an opinion than fact, but its hip fire does seem to be fairly solid, uh, and I think there's probably a good reason for that. But that's assuming we take into account some real life facts. So hold your horses here people, I'm bringing real life shit into video games. It's about to get real. The F2000 is what's known as a bullpup rifle. Essentially it means that the firing mechanisms and the magazine is behind the trigger rather than in front of it like on most rifles. What that does is it decreases the firearm's length and weight while retaining the same barrel length. Ballpups generally allow for about a 25% reduction in weapon length, which means that it has much better manoeuvrability in confined spaces. So without going into any more gobbledygook, that's why I think the F2000 has a better hip fire than maybe some of the other rifles. Other than that though, I can't really think of any reason to use the F2000. It isn't really used anymore apart from the odd nostalgic moment. DICE tried to get some extra use into it some time ago by making it one of their assignments and they focused that assignment around the F2000 and they also gave it some extra camos as well but that, that was really short lived. It's a shame really that the gun doesn't get used anymore but that's the cycle of Battlefield. If when Battlefield 3 launched and I told you that in 9 months time, a year's time we would all be using the M16A3 and it would be so so much better than all the other guns, people would have probably laughed at me. Because at the time, the F2000 was so insane. But look at it now. It's a fair bet that the same thing will happen in Battlefield 4. Or they might balance the weapons a little bit better. Will the same weapon that is the best assault rifle when Battlefield 4 is released still be the best assault rifle when the game is into its first year birthday or second year birthday? Who knows? Maybe they're going to balance those weapons a little bit better so there's a reason to use each one individually and there's not going to be one overall weapon. We may find ourselves in a situation though where the weapons that are the best in Battlefield 3 now won't have that much tweaks to them before Battlefield 4 is released. Is that going to be the case? I mean, is Battlefield 4 going to be released and the M16A3 has essentially just been transferred across and the rifles are not massively different to the way they are now? 
Is that a good thing or a bad thing, though? I think probably it's going to be a bad thing. I would like to see weapons that have a lot more recoil, but recoil that be, can be controlled a lot better. I want to have weapons where people who learn the recoil pattern and have good recoil control will prosper over those that just hold mouse one. That's what I would like to see in Battlefield 3. I don't think it will. I mean, just look at Call of Duty. You know, Call of Duty is essentially just hold mouse one, and that's not a bad thing. That isn't uh, having a go at Call of Duty. That is true for the most part. But I would like to see Battlefield have that little bit more recoil, you know, but the people who have the best aim and the people who can control that recoil and learn it uh, end up being the best players. I would like to see that. You know, Battlefield 3 does suffer from something called random deviation. I'm not going to get into that here because it's a huge can of worms, but it does kind of mean that your bullets won't always go the same place or where they should go where you're aiming, necessarily. Um, you could fire maybe from the same location, same stance, and it would go to a completely different place, even looking down the sights. Which isn't ideal either, but that's something for another day. Now, I hope you guys all enjoy the trip down memory lane. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.